Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Tracking Man 44 here. Hey, it's December 2nd, and look at this. I'm in a t-shirt. It's 76 degrees out here right now. Sun's are shining bright. It's just great. It's late afternoon. I got a little bit of time to kill, so I went ahead and fired up the old 39-year-old uh, B7100 Kubota. I got a couple up to that buzz saw that I adapted to Category 1 three-point hookup. And we're going to go ahead and uh, buzz up a little bit of pole wood while we got a little bit of sunshine. I'll give you a Cliff Notes overview. What I did, I took some two-inch scrap flat, flat steel and made this Category 1 A-frame. Built a little framework around the standard A-frame that actually is the original piece of equipment with this thing. And, of course, put some adjustments and everything on it so I can adjust belt tension. Put a right angle drive off a of John Deere hay bind and a run off power takeoff off the tractor. And I got, uh, it's a 1 to 1.1 ratio gearbox. So at 540 RPM wide open throttle, I'm delivering roughly 600 RPM on the shaft here that drives this shaft. Of course, these are both roughly 8 inch pulleys, so it's almost a 1 to 1 ratio. So my arbor speed is roughly, uh, roughly 600 revolutions per minute. And then we can figure the footage by figuring the circumference of the blade and seeing how many feet that is per minute that it goes around. But that's not that important. I just run it. Full bore, 540 RPM to this little Kubota, and just let her eat.
that's about it. Just had a little bit, little bit of pole wood to cut up. Some of it was cedar and some of it was pine, but that's good for kindling. You know, in the middle of the wood pile, we just go ahead and bust that up and split that up, you know, for kindling as we need it. If you got the right setup, the right tractor, the right RPM, the right saw rig setup, you can bust through this stuff in no time. And it makes a world of difference with one helper, and it's amazingly different with two helpers. Uh, you have one guy off bearing, one guy feeding the guy that's actually running the machine, and you can really knock them dead. And on those sawmill slabs, most of the time what I do when I'm working with somebody else is instead of putting them in there flat like I did on a couple of those, that was kind of a trial run. I don't really like doing that. But what you would do is you go ahead all the way into the cut, and when you're working with a second guy, those long slabs, you just hinge it up. And then just go ahead and sever the last little bit that the blade doesn't reach through, and then go ahead and off fall. But that's the way you do it when you have two guys. That's the way we've always done it with two guys. By yourself on the wider ones, uh, the school's still out. There's not really a safe way or a good way of doing that. This has been a fun few minutes. This really didn't take long at all. I wish I had more pole wood to cut up, but I'm pretty much down to just nothing but scraps. And you know what? This is Tractor Man 44, and I'm out of here, guys. <laughs>